Hello Underachievers! So, recently I posted a YouTube short where I showed my voice progression from pre-testosterone to four years on testosterone, which is a bit of a lie because I'm more like four and a half years on testosterone, but that doesn't matter anyway. And the algorithm were very kind to me. It, it got quite a few views and then eventually it got to the point where most of the comments were comments like this. Hi, my name's Noah and I'm regretting my teenage attention seeking. Now I can no longer conceive. I was not gonna make a four years on testosterone full update like I have in the past because I feel like not that much has changed from three years, but I feel like this would obviously be a useful resource for people that are looking to go on testosterone. And also, you know, there were so many comments that were trying to insinuate that I was regretting my transition, that I made a mistake, that, you know, I'm just a lesbian. We've gone through these and I just wanted to speak about realistically how I have felt being four years on testosterone, how I felt before, how I feel now. So here's my four years on testosterone update. Before we get into the video, you guys should check out my brand new song, La La La. It's very fun, very cool. Go stream it on Spotify. And there's also a music video, so if you wanna if you wanna have a look at those things, there's a link in the description. I also have a new Patreon, which is cool. I'm a Patreon guy, apparently, but there's also a link for that in the description. Also, big fat disclaimer, my transition is my transition only. These physical changes, these mental changes are only applicable to me. I'm sure a lot of other people will relate to them and feel the probably the exact same way, but you know. Just want to get that out of the way that my feelings towards myself and testosterone is, is just my feelings. And obviously medical transition is not for everybody. There are tons of trans people that do not want to medically transition for their own reasons. For me, it was like the most important thing to me in the world to be able to medically transition. And I have not a single regret, but just had to put it out there. Just because you see somebody go on testosterone and think, wow, they look so much happier, that doesn't necessarily mean that will apply to you in the future. So, for those of you that haven't been here very long, I started testosterone in May 2018, which was a good few years back. Before testosterone, I was not exactly a human person. I was very depressed. I could barely leave the house. I'd have panic attacks picking up the phone. I was not in a good place, and I decided to go through the healthcare system and try and get testosterone. That did not work out too well because if you didn't know already, in the UK, the NHS waiting list is, you know, at least three years for a first appointment. In some clinics, it's five years for a first appointment. So it is not easy to get on testosterone in the UK. So I eventually made the decision to go private and I went with London Transgender Clinic. And yeah, that's where I started testosterone. I started on a half dose because I'm a little guy. I'm a real little guy. Then I went up to full dose and it was too much. And then I had a balance somewhere in the middle and then Personally, for me, shots were not it. I did make a video about that, which is right here. You can click on the link in the description if you want to watch that. But a few years in, I switched to testosterone gel. And every day, I take one pump of Tostran, which is like quite a small dose. My body enjoys absorbing testosterone very well, apparently. But yeah, I am currently on testosterone gel. And for some reason, people think that gel is less effective than shots. That's not true. There are a few things that immediately changed for me once I started gel. So anyway, four years on Tostran. That, that boy is on testosterone. So I'm gonna start with the physical changes that I got from testosterone, and then I will go on to the mental changes that I got from testosterone. So let's go head to toe physical changes. Head, has my head changed? My head has not grown. I started off with a really tiny head. I continue to have a really tiny head, um, but my hair has changed, and I would not be able to tell you specifically how. I think it may have gotten a little bit curlier. I'm not entirely sure I maybe treated my hair differently before I went on testosterone, but I've seen a lot of guys who go on testosterone have this thing where they go on tea and their hair gets a little bit thicker. Obviously, for some people that go on testosterone, they go bald and they lose hair and they get a receding hairline, and that's one thing. I have not experienced that at all. My hair is either just as thick as beforehand or maybe a little bit thicker. My my hair does feel like it's got a little bit wavier. Obviously, it's bleached now, so I kind of destroyed the curls. But here is what it looked like when I didn't bleach it. Also, I have had a change in my hairline. Before testosterone, my hairline was a massive source of dysphoria. This will be a running theme in this video. I was very dysphoric about so many parts of my body. But yeah, uh, my hairline was a big source of dysphoria for me. I thought it looked really feminine. It was kind of rounded. Now it is straightened out. As I said so far, I have not lost hair. I don't have a receding hairline. It's just changed shape to be a more masculine shape. So thumbs up for that. Thank you, testosterone. You can't control what changes you get from tea, but you know, happy about not going bald. And then down from there, we got my eyebrows. Uh, my eyebrows have gotten a lot thicker since starting testosterone. They're still not crazy thick. I'm not sat here before you looking like a crazy masculine guy, beefcake, huge guy. That, that was never 
really the goal, and that wasn't an expectation I had. But yeah, my eyebrows have got a little thicker. And down there is the face. Now, my face, I feel, has gone through many changes, but you know, I've also had a lot of weight fluctuations since being in testosterone. I gained a load of weight after going on testosterone, and then I lost some because I got ill, and then la la la. But my face has definitely changed since going on testosterone. It hasn't changed a crazy amount. I still look like me, but yeah, it's definitely gotten thicker here. Before testosterone, it was much skinnier, and thinner, uh, and now my jaw has gotten a lot wider. I guess I guess it's just gotten thicker in general. The thing that happens with testosterone is that like your skin thickens, so that will obviously make your body look a little thicker and your face look a little thicker. But yeah, this is squared out way more than it was before. Also, my nose has grown. That's something that happens when you go on testosterone for a lot of people because you hold weight differently. Again, you, you get thicker. And also a lot of people that go on estrogen who, uh, you know, were assigned male at birth, transition to female. I've seen a lot of them go on estrogen and their nose looks to be smaller because it's a bit thinner because of the face, you know, you know the area? Anyway, my nose got a little bit bigger. Fine, that was expected. Uh, and then down from nose, I got uh, this huge mustache. I got a crazy amount of facial hair. I shave it every single day. I get a five o'clock shadow at four o'clock. Yeah, no, I have a tiny, itsy, tiny, itsy, wincy bit of facial hair. It has grown since the last update. It's grown a little bit, but when I say it's grown, it's a minuscule amount. I get hair here. I get hair here. I don't really get hair here, which I don't understand, but you know, I, I grow a lot here and it is Cory off. But since last year, I have I have grown three more chin hairs before before this year. I don't know the exact number. Just just to let you guys know. Just in case you were wondering, I have like five tiny chin hairs that grow. But yeah, obviously everybody reacts differently to testosterone when it comes to like facial hair growth, when it comes to hair loss. It is all down to your genetics. I've seen a lot of people be like, oh, you know, taking testosterone makes you grow facial hair and makes you go bald. Um, I, it's just down to genetics. My dad could not grow a beard until he was 30 and he's not bald. Whereas some people go on testosterone and immediately tons of facial hair, lose all their hair and a mix of whatever, you know, everybody's different. Would I like to be able to grow more facial hair? Yeah. Am I a bit salty about it? Maybe a little bit, but I, I guess, I guess God wanted me to become a twink and so he did that. I'm not a Christian, I don't know why I said that. Down from facial hair, or lack thereof, is the, the throat, the neck, the voice. Um, here is my voice update. Hi, I'm Noah, and this is my voice pre-tea. Hi, I'm Noah, and this is my voice one month on tea. Hi, I'm Noah, and this is my voice two months on tea. Hi, I'm Noah, and this is my voice three months on tea. Hi, I'm Noah, and this is my voice four months on tea. Hi, my name's Noah, and this is my voice five months on tea. Hi, my name's Noah, and this is my voice six months on tea. Hi. My name is Noah, and this is my voice seven months on T. Hi, I'm Noah, and this is my voice eight months on T. Hi, my name is Noah, and this is my voice nine and ten months on T. I forgot to record last month. Hi, I'm Noah, and this is my voice eleven months on T. Hi, my name is Noah, and this is my voice one year on T. Hi, my name is Noah, and this is my voice two years on T. Hi, my name is Noah, and this is my voice three years on T. Hi, my name is Noah, and this is my voice four years on testosterone. Now you may notice, I don't know if my voice maybe is higher than last year. I did this thing when I started doing my voice updates where I would purposely make my voice sound as low as possible because I was really insecure about it not dropping as quick as I wanted it to be. So it may not be entirely reliable information, but my voice has definitely dropped since I started testosterone. I've not noticed a difference from last year. Maybe I have a little bit more control in my voice singing wise, but that could just be because I'm singing more because I'm touring and I'm a musician now. But yeah, there's the voice update. Some people that take testosterone have less of a voice drop. Some people have more of a voice drop. Again, just down to the person and speaking of throat I don't have a massive Adam's apple it's definitely gotten bigger from before testosterone but that's that's not a mad thing that's happened to me a lot of trans guys will go on testosterone and get this big ass Adam's apple but I didn't and that's fine I'm not mad about it down from the throat and the neck is the shoulders my shoulders have definitely broadened out uh, since before I started testosterone I, I think it's just I work out now or at least I did and then I went on tour and got ill and then I went on tour again and got ill again so I'm running a bit behind on the fitness. But yeah, my shoulders have definitely gotten broader. I don't know if I'd say they're broader from last year. I think it's the same amount of broad. But what I have noticed is that like the default shape of my body has kind of masculinized. As in, I hold weight differently. I may as well just talk about body fat redistribution here and like muscle and all that kind of stuff. So when you start testosterone, it will be easier for you to put on muscle. And I've definitely found that. It's, it's kind of easy for me to put on muscle. I'm not very good at eating habits or any habits. So, you know, if I went crazy in the gym, 
ate really well. I think I could quite easily build up a lot of muscle. In terms of shoulders, yeah, as I said, I don't think they got bigger since last year, but as a comparison from before testosterone, here is what they look like. But yeah, in terms of body fat redistribution, when you go on testosterone, over the years, this is not an instant change, you will begin to notice that the way that you hold fat and your kind of muscle will change. Females tend to hold fat more in their legs and their butt, and their hips and all that kind of area. Whereas if you go on testosterone and you put on more fat, eventually it will go to your abdomen, which is where males tend to hold weight. I've definitely noticed that. I got a little bit of a belly going on, uh, which I didn't have before testosterone. But again, it's difficult to measure what is from testosterone and what is like lifestyle because before testosterone, I was very underweight and now I'm not. But yeah, shoulders, body fat redistribution. I feel a lot blockier. I feel a lot squarer. Before I started testosterone, I felt more hourglass. Like there was a default way that my body was gonna present itself, whereas on testosterone, it's kind of blocked out a bit, which I appreciate a lot. No complaints there, apart from the belly fat that I'm not used to, but I just need to exercise. Down from there is the belly, which I did talk about, but speaking of belly, it is hairy as hell now. My belly is a lot hairier than it used to be. Even from last year, I have gained belly hair, and we may as well just talk about hair. My entire body is growing way more hair than it did before testosterone, is growing way more hair than it did last year, which I'm happy about. I don't want to be crazy hairy, I don't want to be completely covered in, you know, fluff. But yeah, body hair, my armpit hair grows longer and thicker. My belly hair, I, I now have belly hair. Arse hair, definitely a thing. Didn't have arse hair before, and over the years, it just keeps growing. It does not stop. And every now and then, I'll find little spots on my leg, and I'm like, why do I have little spots on my leg? It's because there's new hair coming in. I'm still growing no hair. I used to just have like little leg hairs on my shins. For some reason, I had barely any leg hair on my thighs. And then over the years, I've gotten way more leg hair on my thighs. But you know, uh, my under thighs are much hairier. The pube area, way more hair. It's just growing. It just it just grows. Unfortunately, it's very difficult to trim ass hair, asshole hair. Noah 100 testosterone one. I'll, I'll give you that, people who hate people going on testosterone. I don't enjoy that asshole hair. And then down from stomach is, you know, that area. Bottom growth, if you don't know what bottom growth is, it's where the sensitive part of your anatomy just grows. I don't think it's got bigger since last year. I think it kind of balanced out at maybe like three years, but that's definitely there. Definitely noticeable. Not had any issues. For a lot of people that go on testosterone, I have not had any issues with it. I, I, I enjoy having bottom growth. I would rather have it how it is now than how it was before. No complaints about that. I've seen a lot more people recently say that they didn't want bottom growth. And I remember when I started testosterone or before I started testosterone, the general consensus was that people were looking forward to bottom growth because it differentiates their genitalia from the genitalia they had before, which they had dysphoria about. And that's how I feel. I've seen a lot more people nowadays be like, oh, I don't want bottom growth, it's icky. It's not icky. I don't know why that's that opinion is more prevalent now, but like, no, I enjoy it a lot. And also to do with those areas that no one wants to talk about, um, periods. Now, I am very weird. My entire life, I have had really painful periods. I will pass out when I have periods. I would not be able to move. I am on special medication for the period pain. My periods did not stop when I started testosterone. And usually, most of the time when you start testosterone, after a few months, you will not get another period or you'll get a period every now and then and it will be lighter. For me, my periods have gotten lighter, but I still have them. Like four and a half years on testosterone. I feel like it's safe to say that's like, abnormal. Another thing that happens with testosterone, which you will be made aware of if you're gonna go on testosterone, they're not just gonna give it to you and not tell you about any of this stuff like people insinuate they do. Another thing that happens with testosterone for some trans guys is that internal organs down there, they will experience atrophy, which means it will get smaller, uh, there is less natural lubrication. What else? Some people may experience pain there and some people do need to get hysterectomies. For some reason, Good few years back, when you went to the gender clinic, they would tell you that if you were on testosterone for five years, you would have to get a hysterectomy. That is not the case, um, and I feel like they're telling more people about this now, but unless you have issues with that internal organ, with your wombs, with the ovaries and all that, there is no reason to get a hysterectomy. There are topical treatments that you could do up there. You can do topical estrogen and it doesn't affect your hormone levels, but yeah. That's the thing that happens. I have not experienced that at all, but I'm still having my periods. I assume I have high estrogen levels. Maybe I'll get them tested. But yeah, away from periods and all that stuff, my legs feel stronger, <laughs> as does the rest of my body since being on testosterone. But yeah, hairier, stronger. They hold less body fat than they did before I started testosterone, but that's a body fat redistribution thing. Feet, I did not grow feet 
a tall... No. <laughs> no, my feet did not grow. They stopped growing when I was 12. I know that depending on when you start testosterone, you may experience some foot growth or height growth. And the reason that is, is that you have these things called growth plates. And when you reach a certain age, your growth plates will fuse and you will not grow anymore. I started testosterone when I was 18 and I grew a centimeter in height, which, you know, is not uncommon for people that start testosterone relatively early. Just know that if you start testosterone over a certain age, you probably won't experience foot growth or height growth or anything like that. But like, you'll get the other changes. You'll get your voice drop. You'll get the facial hair eventually, maybe. It's just the height that won't change. But yeah, I'm trying to think of the other changes. Maybe my one year on testosterone or my few months on testosterone will give you more information, but Things like, yeah, I am sweatier now that I have more testosterone. My skin is thicker, um, it feels thicker, it feels less sensitive and soft, I guess. I don't have as soft skin as I used to have. I have more body hair, what else is there? I feel like I'm warmer in general than I used to be. I got hairy toes, I got hairy feet. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that covers most of it. Again, if you really wanna be more in detail about this kind of thing, maybe watch my other transition related videos cause I am like four and a half years on, there's gonna be stuff that I've forgotten. But yeah, I think that's it for physical changes on testosterone. If you have any more questions about that kind of thing, feel free to ask questions below. I, I will try and respond. So mental changes on testosterone. I don't think there's been any mental changes, uh, psychological changes since last year on testosterone. My levels of testosterone are all good. They're all fine. So there's no change there. In terms of since starting testosterone, there are so many and I feel like it's gonna be difficult for me to remember them all, but let's go. So confidence changes. I'm ridiculously more confident than I was before I started testosterone. As I said at the beginning, I was unable to leave the house without a crazy load of anxiety. I was unable to pick up the phone because my voice was high and I felt uncomfortable speaking because I felt uncomfortable hearing how high my voice was because it made me feel like a girl. I didn't like being looked at because I was afraid that people would look at the aspects of myself that I hated. I thought that people would think, oh, his hips are really big or, oh, you can see his chest. Obviously, not, not a problem anymore in terms of gender-related confidence because I'm very content, I guess, uh, is how I would say it, towards how I look, gender-wise. I mean, I'm not crazy big burly man, I've not got crazy big muscles, but in terms of the dysphoria, I am pfft, a different person, a completely different person. Yeah, gender dysphoria, I, I guess that's a big one that I should talk about mentally. Before I started testosterone, I had dysphoria about my face, because I thought I looked like a girl, I thought my hairline made me look like a girl, I thought my shoulders weren't broad enough and that gave me dysphoria. My waist was so skinny and I felt like I had an hourglass figure. That gave me dysphoria. I felt like my hips were too wide. That gave me dysphoria. I didn't have enough body hair. That gave me dysphoria. My voice was crazy high. That gave me dysphoria. Everything <laughs> about my body gave me gender dysphoria. Obviously my bits down there. Crazy gender dysphoria. I could not have sex or even think about having sex with anybody. I, I could not do any of that stuff because I was so dysphoric about myself. Now, gender dysphoria wise, still got bottom dysphoria, but you know, because the rest of me matches my brain, I am less uncomfortable with it, just because I'm like, you know what, bottom surgery, not for me, I've got my own reasons for not wanting to do that, no shame against people that want to have bottom surgery, obviously, that's a, it's a great thing for so many people, I just don't want that personally, but yeah, in terms of gender dysphoria, it's, it's almost non-existent, there are some days where I look at myself and I'm like, ugh, why, but those are, those are very rare, the majority of the time, if I don't think I look that great, it's not because my gender. It's probably because my hair is greasy or I've got a bunch of spots or anything like that. So mentally, in terms of gender dysphoria, it is minuscule. Testosterone, I would say, you know, I wouldn't say it cured my gender dysphoria. Yes, I would actually. I would say it cured the majority of my gender dysphoria and I have absolutely no regrets about it. It is insane to me that so many people just assume that trans people are instantly going to regret their transition because there are people that detransition. Of course there are going to be people that detransition, but in terms of transition medically, there is a lower rate of regret for trans people going on hormones and getting surgery than there is for like people getting knee surgery or hip surgery. That is not a worry for me. And mentally, gender dysphoria, all good. What else changed mentally? I mean, initially it was difficult for me to cry. And I think that's just because my body was kind of in shock due to the change of hormones, like hormone imbalances, not fun to deal with. And for a lot of people that start testosterone or estrogen, they go through mood swings, you're, you're going through puberty. So obviously there's gonna be highs and lows. There's gonna be times where you're really frustrated. I never experienced the testosterone anger. I didn't get the rage that so many people were saying that I would get when I started testosterone. That's never been a problem for me. Emotionally, I feel great. <laughs> I can honestly say that that like transitioning was the best decision I have ever made for myself. There are so many things that I've done in life and so many decisions I've made in life that I would never take back. And I, I really think that coming out and starting my medical transition was like the top one that I would just like this, this, this is the reason 
that I feel like I can be a person and I feel like I can talk to people and I feel like I can just interact in the world as a human without this crazy thing hanging over me that I was so uncomfortable with myself. So yeah, mentally, hell yeah, testosterone. But yeah, I'd say all the negative emotional stuff to do with testosterone is just the imbalance that I had. Cause there was a time where my testosterone levels were crazy high and then they were crazy low. I, I couldn't get my prescription cause my GP screwed me over. Now I have no problems emotionally with testosterone. I, I can't, I can't think of any. But yeah, I mean, I guess that's it. I, I don't know how interesting this was. There really haven't been that many changes since last year, which is usually what these updates are for. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day, though. See you later, losers. Goodbye. <laughs>